you know, it's just a good to know that we, right now we don't have this on the unit circle. So we do not have this angle on the unit circle. And sometimes this is a little bit confusing because eights, you got to think, you know, where exactly is 5 pi over 8? Well, if we look at the kind of unit circle, we know halfway around the circle is pi. So if we're going for pi in terms of eights, that would be 8 pi over 8, correct? So, five pi over, so half of that would be 4 pi over 8. So we're looking at 5 pi over 8 right here. Yeah. All right. So now let's go and look at the sum and difference formula. And before I go ahead and do that, or let's just look at the general sum and difference formula. So sine of u divided by 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of u over 2. Now, a couple things to notice. First of all, this it's the sine of a half angle. Okay, But in the formula, we use u. So what that means is 5 pi over 8 is equal to pi over, pi over 2. So, But we don't want to use that angle in the formula. We've got to use u. So we've got to figure out what u is. Wait, what, what, what? So 5 pi over 8 is equal to u over 2. Would you guys agree that those two are in the same positions of the formulas? Yes. Yes. 5 pi over 8 is equal to um, u over 2. But to look at the formula. Inside the formula, it's not using u over 2. It's not using the same angle. It's using u. Over right? Two. No, it's not over 2. It's u. Yeah, the whole equation is over 2. But I'm saying the equation, or inside the function, is just u. So, you gotta get rid of so what that means is we, don't, we need to figure out what u is in terms of this problem. So I'll multiply by 2 on both sides. That can reduce to 4. So that's 5 pi over 4 equals u. That's important. The other thing that's important is we have a plus or minus. And what the plus or minus refers to is when is sine positive or negative based on the angle. Well, we figured out 5 pi over 8 is right here in the second quadrant. Is sine positive or negative in that quadrant? Positive. positive. So therefore, we don't need to include plus or minus. We just need to include the positive form. All right? But we'll do, we'll do problems um, similar to that. So. If I say sine of 5 pi over 8, that's equal to the positive square root. You don't really need to write the positive. You can leave that off. Of 1 minus the cosine of 5 pi over 4 divided by 2. Again, notice how I'm plugging in 5 pi over 4, not 5 pi over 8. That's u over 2. That's u. That's u over 2. That's u. I multiply by 2 to get rid of it. Okay. Now it just comes into a basic simplifying the problem. And again, there's really not much we can simplify outside of it. So let's go inside the radical, as I kind of talked about in our warm up. Cosine of 5 pi over 4, that has a reference angle of pi over 4. 5 pi over 4, we know, is going to be down here. So we've got to think, what is the cosine of that 5 pi over 4? It's in the third quadrant, so it should be negative, negative square root of 2 over 2. Over 2. Hey, that kind of looks something kind of similar to our warm-up problem, right? Kind of similar. So that means we would need to get rid of our denominator here, or we want to get rid of this 2 here, so we can multiply by a 2 on the top and bottom. Just remember, guys, when you're multiplying by that 2, now let's put the 2 in red. When you put the 2 in there, just make sure you guys remember that's in parentheses. And again, this is all happening under the radical. So negative and negative makes a positive. So now I have the positive square root of 1. I'm sorry. 1 times 2 is 2. That now becomes a positive. The 2's divide out. So I'm left with plus square root of 2 over 4. Two, square root of two, two. Yep. So a couple things. Yep. We and that's how the answer choice will usually look on that. Just remember, guys, the square root of a divided by b is equal to the square root of a over the square root of b. Yes. So I can't really do anything with the square root of the numerator, but I could take the square root of the denominator. So I could rewrite this as two plus the square root of two over two. And a lot of times in multiple choice problems, we don't really want to divide by 2. We'll just rewrite that number in front. So we'd rewrite this as 1 half 
times the square root of 2 plus radical 2.